peace. Welcome to Faith Expressions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now reflect on the solemnity of Corpus Christi. Jesus gives us His body, gives us His blood, continually giving Himself in our time. This is the sacrament of love. He gave totally of Himself for love of us. He says in the Eucharist, This is my body, take this. This is my blood, take this. He said this during the Last Supper, and then He made this happen on the altar of the cross on Calvary. Truly His body given, broken, blood poured. That is why in the Gospels we would hear Him saying, My body is true food, my blood is true drink. This is happening in our time. The victory from His Paschal mystery is now applied to us in our time by the power of the Holy Spirit that dwells in the church, making all the actions in the sacraments truly effective, truly powerful, making all these things happen in our time. And what Jesus said truly is what it is meant. And that is why very opportune to be reminded that as Catholic Christians, we take this seriously. This is not just wafer or bread. This is the body of Christ. This is not just wine. Or this is the blood of the Lord. And that is why the belief in the real presence is a serious matter. We have connection to Jesus Christ because we feed on Him. That is something that we should always be reminded of. I always like what Flannery O'Connor uh, said in, in her comments uh, to one of his friends who considered the Eucharist a symbol. She said, if it is just symbolic, then the hell with it. So she is taking seriously the words of Jesus Christ. What Jesus said is what he meant. This is my body. This is my blood. Take this. From the readings that we have for this Sunday, the first reading, Abraham is being blessed by, by Melchizedek, and then he is offering to the Almighty God the bread and wine. The offering of Melchizedek found its fulfillment in Jesus Christ. So in the celebration of the Eucharist, the offering of Jesus Christ, body and blood, we offer now the bread and the wine, which becomes the body and blood of Jesus Christ, is now an offering and becomes a blessing to us. The second reading gives the narration that St. Paul saying, just as what I have received, I give to you. Jesus Christ he took bread and said, this is my body. He took wine, this is my blood. This is also what is happening in our time. Um, the gospel is multiplication of loaves. This is an image of what should be the Eucharist in our daily lives. The lesson that Jesus is giving us in the gospel is that He takes from what He has. He takes from what they have. Few bread and then bless it and give it to them. And that is why in the Eucharist, Jesus took from what He has. And from what He has, His body broken, His blood poured. This He gives. In our daily lives, we take from what we have to be given away. Our body broken, our blood poured, a self-offering every time we do good, every time we give advice, every time we do charity, 
every time we do acts of mercy, we give also ourselves. We give from what we have because this, this is the model Jesus has given us. What do we have? God gives us blessings, spiritual blessings, the theological virtues of faith, hope, and love. We share our faith. We give love. We share our hope. Temporal gifts, material gifts. We are given time, talents, treasures. We share our time. We share our talents. We share our treasures. In our daily living, how generous are we in sharing our time, our talents, our treasures? This is just a simple lesson, but there is so much to do in our daily lives. The altar of sacrifice in the church becomes the model for the many altars that we have in our daily lives, where we offer from ourselves, our own lives, we give to others, this is my body, this is my blood as well. In the altar of our workplace, in the altar of family life, in the altar of our social life with friends, wherever we may be with other people, we are giving from what we have. And every good thing we do, we always say with Jesus, this is my body, this is my blood, take this. What a world it would be when indeed we all can learn from this simple lesson we give from what we have, making ourselves a self-offering without counting the cost. So that just as Jesus became the incarnate love of God for humanity, the giving of himself for us, so too in our daily lives, as we give ourselves to others, we become as well the very reflection and manifestation of Jesus Christ in us and through us. Let this solemnity of Corpus Christi, the Lord's body and blood, become an encouragement and empowerment to truly imitate Jesus Christ to give ourselves to others joyfully. God bless in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.